2020 brings us a new year and a new decade, and it also means some new laws are about to go into effect here in Arizona. Team 12's Erica Stapleton has a breakdown of the changes that we can expect. First, let's talk money. Starting New Year's Day, minimum wage in Arizona is going up to $12 an hour. Minimum wage is already a struggle. This all goes back to a proposition passed in 2016, and it's the last scheduled wage hike under that law. Going forward, the state will adjust minimum wage based on the cost of living. There are also some new rules at school. It's about the, that safety net that needed to be there, that needed to be there a long time ago. Starting next school year, teachers in grades 6 through 12 statewide will be trained to spot signs of suicidal behavior in students. The idea is to prevent teen suicides, which data from America's Health Rankings shows is on the rise in Arizona. Governor Ducey signed the bill for training into law after Corona Del Sol senior Mitch Warnock died by suicide in 2017. His parents pushing for change to prevent others from experiencing pain like theirs. Not a single one of them deserved to get to that level of hopelessness and to feel that level of I don't want to live anymore. And recreational marijuana is expected to be a big talker next year in Arizona, the topic likely to get on the November ballot. But first, the state is taking a closer look at medicinal pot. Starting in 2020, dispensaries will be required to test their products for contaminants like heavy metals and pesticides. A third-party lab will conduct the testing under rules from the state health department. And patients and caregivers, you'll have the right to ask for those results before you buy. And speaking of ballots, Arizonans will be hitting the polls earlier in 2020. A new state law pushes the primary vote back to the first Tuesday in August, and voter registration closes the first week of July. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.